Yo, hello there, my delicious friends. I hope life is treating you beautifully well. We are in a scummy outland, the eastern zone of misery. It is Elden Ring, live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. Or maybe you're watching the VODs over on YouTube, in which case, thank you so much for joining your boy. We have done much. In the episode before last, we completed Rayu Lucaria. Learned some things, picked up some upgrade stones, did a bit of a cave. Now we're just going to vibe around here for a look. Then we'll probably move back up into Lyurnia and also go into the Underverse and maybe like the Shrines that does the thing inside the cave. Many options. Many powerful magics. Star Shower. Lightning Spear. Magic Glint Blade. Um, the Electric Magic is the most effective against these horrible dogs. But let's make our way along the path and see what this game has to offer. Guys, I hope you're having a lovely day. Official King Willy, Aya. Hello there, Ayatollah. How are you doing? Chameleoness, Malgrins. Hi, hi. The scummy outlands of Croydon. <clears throat> I was saying to Todd the other day that... Uh, in the Star Wars universe, Tatooine is supposed to be the arse end of nowhere. But it feels like they keep making every new series on the same planet. And I realised it's a bit like Crawley. Like, yeah, it's a shithole in the middle of nowhere and nobody wants to go there. But it is also actually quite well known, and everybody knows where it is on the map. Apologies to people who live in Crawley, but it's your own fault. Do -do -do. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's avoid the dogs a bit and go here. Now I think on this adventure, we've logged this. Yes, I fear. Yeah, I can rest here. We've already nabbed that one, but we haven't been into the buildings. Mikey, if you could take any shape as a familiar, what would you be? Ooh! If I could take any shape as a familiar. So not just an animal. I could be... A beautiful bucket of swords and spears. Mmm. Mmm, what would I be? Uh, yo, Marker, how you doing, dude? I would be... <clears throat> I'm trying to come up with an answer that's not deeply sexual. Mm. I mean, I can't just say that I'd be the Hitachi round Chameleoness's house. That's it's a bit too personal, isn't it? I mean, I would. But I'm just saying. Uh... Oh, that man's on fire! He's like a protesting Buddhist monk. Uh, a Buddhist monk set himself on fire um, outside a Chinese embassy, I think. Uh, in England just this year and uh, the news didn't want to report on it in case it made other people set themselves on fire um... can I uh I, I feel like this isn't a great area for the horse I'm gonna get out my undead boys just in case I've got star shower available Mm, he's got crimson rot and fire. And they blow up. I'm glad I was able to observe that from a distance with my Talana mass bodyguards as opposed to first hand and juicy. How do I get into any of these structures? Ooh, that's all on fire. Oh, they're on fire. Things on fire. There's a fire tank up there from previous adventures. Ooh, ooh, it's getting problematic. All right, we might take it a bit easy around here. I think this might be one of those slow and steady environments we've been talking about before. Who's got his ears plugged? Oh, is that multi-directional side fire? Let's go over here, shall we? <laughs> let's not. Let's not, but say we did. This is all horrible. Oh, there's another tank over here as well. Mm. Let me try some magic from behind. Good, you? Yeah, Marco, not too bad. Thank you very much. Can't complain about life. I'm just taking a uh, relaxing afternoon. Relaxing. To chill out and play a bit of Elden Ring online? What type of build? 
What a handsome question. I'm going for a dexterous, intelligent, faithful samurai. So I'm using lightning magic. Still got the samurai katana. Um, I'm trying to avoid too much strength and endurance because that's how I played Dark Souls 1. And so I just want to experience a slightly different vibe. I'm going to get my lightning back out. I feel like that was a real effective cheese. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, only effective from behind. I used to know a girl like that. Ooh, wow, wow, what is that? I was not expecting a circle of hot fun. Wow, that is burning extra hot. That was like a blue flame. Okay, well, we've learned a little bit about that guy. Do get behind him, but, you know, lightning bolt, yeah? A little bit of lighty. Okay, let me just check inside these structures. This one's not burning. This one has a door. So do burning guys come from the floor? Just lots of embers. So there's loads of red rot and crimson mist and fire. Which is key. Is it warm with you? It's unbearable here. Uh, it's not that bad. No. Uh, I hear Europe's really bad at the moment. Like, really hot. But, um... Like, right now, I'm... I'm comfortably... I'm comfortably streaming on my beanie. I've got my windows open. And I've got the window at, uh, out back open to get some semblance of a draft. But I'm not, like, sweating under here or anything. It's very bright. It's a lovely day. But no, it's definitely been worse. <clears throat> if you're from behind, I suppose twould be magic. Ooh! Hey, greasy monkey. Hey, you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. This area is a burning pain. Jim, do you have bad memories? Allow me, Jem, to dispel your dreams. Your nightmares, even. I will let you find solace by being your emotional proxy. Oh, there's an entire burning pyre of semi... Not all of them are down for the count, huh? How horrible. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, I'm gaining the experience, but it's only 25 schmeckles a pop. Okay, cool. Well, it's all grim and gross. I don't really feel I need to be here, to be honest. I want to take on one of these tanks, ideally, for a bit of closure. But these guys pretty much taking care of themselves. There's something almost sad about them running towards me, as if they're blowing up and dying, but it's almost like they're hoping for some kind of salvation. Like, getting closer to someone living might be some echo of a desire of help that they can no longer have. It's like when a, uh, you know someone with leprosy reaches out to you for help and you're caught between the empathy of wanting to help them because they're in pain but also the desire to not be touched by them because you don't want to become a leper it's that weird balance line i'm no lady diana now we'll let these guys do a bit of blow up here but we need to talk about big tanky forever at this rate. Kill me, please! Yeah, that's probably what they're saying. <laughs> like the end of Terminator 2. Uh, Terminator 1. 
Uh, Robocop one. I'm sorry. Let's have some tea. You've got that plus five Brazilian heat resistance. Little white guy suffering. Ah. Oh. I'm a special kind of white guy. Yeah, I actually, uh, despite my brownness, I do. Uh, I do hate overly hot days. Absolutely, I struggle in the heat. I've been in England too long. Okay. Did I have any schmeckles worth getting back? Now, remember, lightning magic, but only from behind, plus distance. D is magic number. Distance. Now, let me just pick up my goods without getting murdered. Please. And then I'll just do one chop chop. And then lightning magic from a distance. I'm going to ideally just get out of his zone and make him turn around and forget about me. What's this distance on fire attack? Woo! Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're fine. That's bold. But I don't like to be told. Zareel the Surreal. Hey, dear man. Welcome back to the plane of real existence via the world of Twitch, therefore creating a meta-reality of the video game that we've all bought into. Elden Ring! How you doing, dude? No, he turned around! Oh, there's some blood rot boyos down there as well. I'm going to get behind, but those bloodies are going to be all up in my... biz. This cheeky little governor, he's trying to get around the business on me. Here we go. This probably isn't worth my time, but I want to just get a little bit of emotional closure by taking down one of these lads. Don't get too close. It'll do flame spin. What's the most surreal thing you've drawn? The most surreal thing that I've ever drawn? Um, probably in a notebook. I used to keep a notebook down for when I had vivid dreams. And, uh... It, it wasn't even anything particularly interesting. It was just for view from an airport window. But the view was really high up. And there wasn't just airports, but there was like... It wasn't just airplanes, but there was like blimps and stuff. And it was like really late in the day. So it was really dark blue light everywhere. Like um, twilight. And uh, I think I was late for handing in all of my university coursework at the same time. And I was trying to get to the right gate. So probably some sketches of that. Nothing particularly interesting. But uh, any dream stuff is usually a little bit weird. What's the most weird thing you guys have drawn? What's the most surreal thing you people have ever drawn? I once drew a concept. Uh, for the Mikey the Gathering cards, Eva had a really good one. It was like the concept of control, but also chess, but also weed. So we had to kind of, like, you know, visualize that. Stealth manipulation. Okay, well, the map is disgusting. The world is disgustingly beautiful. Should we go over here and unlock it? And then we've been here before when we got um, sneak trapped. And also, I spy two mini erd trees with my eye for us to enjoy. Also, we've been here. Have I been here? I don't remember being there. All right, let's go south and follow the path. <clears throat> in for a cry, in for a laugh. Anyway, all we learned from this little village bit is that it's horrible. So here we are, coming out the other end. There's a lot of 
So did this place used to be under the water, do you think? Like, with all of this coral, was this a once flooded environment? These burning walls, do these act as a warning? This is pretty cool. Oh good, it continually gets worse. Oh, is that red waste? That's like a big pond of awfulness. Hmm. Uh. There's a church over there. Let's go and log that map. See if we can reach that church. And uh, then we'll come up and around. There's a tower of power here. There is only one Lord of the Rings. And he does not share power. And then we'll go back to that uh, tree over there. Just to have a sketch. Can we see it? Oh, it's, no, it's in a notebook. Lost to time. Uh, it's, you know, it's in a box somewhere, I guess. If it exists. An interesting build indeed. Thank you. You know, I woke up at 6am this morning. Nothing. I made coffee and a pitcher, and I went to sleep at around 7. Then I woke up for 11. Dude, I feel you. I did a really similar... Oh, it's a lady here. I did a really similar thing, man. I uh, I woke up super... I had a horrible sleep last night, and I woke up super early today. Went online. Started... Oh, cool. Way to go. Yo! What's up? How goes the gaming? Kaiden, what's good, dude? Thank you for the two months. Back for a little bit more, Kaiden. You tried me once, and it turns out you like the flavour. Pleased to have you, man. Yeah, we're just vibing down here. We're checking out the Carian Wastes. We've done rare Lucaria. Thanks for asking. We're getting there. Yeah, I woke up really early, got ready to actually work, and then I was just like, oh, I got up and just went straight back to bed again. You, please, I can Man, they love fingers. They love... Your fingers, please, your fingers... Where's the guy from the X-Files who was in the film where he was a hand model? Zoolander. Who's who's uh who's Mulder? Oh, bless you. Not not Gillian Murphy. Oh, oh. Liminal space. Are you Interstitial Festivals or Flowers? Hmm. I'm more of a party guy. To the south. Grand festival to make the stars turn. Oh, yeah. To the east, the heart and bud of a flower to be. That sounds like South if I've ever heard it. But dare you enter into the heart of the scarlet rot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we had that chat. Yo, Kaiden, how's your gaming going? What are you up to at the moment, dude? Gabby, was that um was that Radagast for Red? And uh, Melena in the uh, cutscene. Go wash your fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be like... you. She's like, what, 110 years old? I don't know how... She's, she's not a very moist individual, do you know what I mean? If we got any juice from her just then, I think it might be a bit pungent. <laughs> Defo, wash your hands. That's 110, wash your hands. Did I just sit here or did I just imagine it? Okay. Here I be gotta do something, throw up. I understood the south part, but not the east part. Ginoli, yo, also, yeah. <laughs> something about the bud of a flower, but it's very difficult if I dare enter. I'm pretty sure that's V for vagina. Ah, have you ever found a, a lady whose flower was still budding and getting in was very hard? Well, you are probably going to go to prison. But hey. Nice to meet you. Now, down and here, unlock the map. That's all we're going to do. That's for smart play. Don't engage. God, all of this is horrible. It's so unpleasant to look at as well. Do you know? Ooh, there's bug people! Ooh. 
Oh, there's another crimson rot dog. He will, he will actually poison me. Just curious to see how easy they are to kill. Yeesh. They're like horrible land squid things with conch heads. Everything about this design disgusts me. Obviously, that's the point. But like, oh, doesn't make it any easier to swallow. Just keeping an eye out for anything cool. Oh, there's little bugs as well. Wait, every bug has a dog. Should we come back here later? Uh, yeah, let's let's get up. Let's go back on that road, shall we? Like I said, no sidetracking. Butt people, bug people, <clears throat> disgusting bugmen. Look, there's three of them there. Ooh, that was quick. Instead of legs, they have human hands. Ah, it's disgusting. A little bit of grace, governor. Oh, yes, please. I will take that grace. I would love to rest. Thank you. All right, back to work. We're making our way round on this road. Um, have I come off the path a little bit? Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a... A dry, rotting, barrier reef, barracuda dragon kind of thing. It's not just a barrier reef, but it's a dead barrier reef. Caused by a slight rise in overall sea temperatures back to... Thanks to global warming. All right, here's the map. I don't like that the decaying Escalades is still on my bar. Am I not far away enough? Oh no, I think he's given up. Yo, okay, so what? Ooh! Hello, hello. There's some kind of business here, some kind of castle. Uh, so. We've been to the town of sorcery before. We could go back. Hmm. Mm, guys, where do we go? There's there's two points of narrative oblivion. Shall we continue south down to here and see what's going on? I'm going to leave the dragons alone for the moment. Oh, hello. Hail to the shopkeeper. Buying or selling? Uh, buying, please. Do you have any uh, cookbooks? Gravity's advantage. It's a note imparting knowledge in brief. Nomadic Warrior Cookbook number 15. Might as well get this. And this if I can afford it. Braces, pauldrons, arrows, stone swords, pots. Oh, do I have another slot? Ebrig! Well, 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 well. If it isn't Mr. Mega Mega. Evening. Welcome back indeed. How are you? It's going to be a lot of TP for them. <laughs> yeah. But people of the Toilet Paper Kingdom. Now. Okay, good purchasing. Uh, I'm happy with everything so far, theoretically. Get back on the dog. And I guess we're heading over here. Ish. I'm going to come back and try my luck on these. Oh, there's a little dude over there. Oh, it's a crow. I'm going to try my luck. Oh, oh, look at all these crows. They're really nasty bastards. I'm going to try my luck on those dragons later. We've come across three of them so far. But I'm not quite at a dragon. Ooh, what's this? Oh, oh, look at that guy. 
Wait, you're about to throw something. Um. Well, that is very rude. Now I have to go up here. Is this a giant deformed skull? Yo. It looks like the magic has caused giganticism. And all sorts of other curses and blights upon the land. Oh wait, was that where I wanted to go? Yo, let's go over here. What? Yeah, this looks amazing. Yo, let's investigate. <clears throat> Not even a disclaimer. He deserves what may come. Wait, I told him what happened. Hey, why would you... Come on now. Fight it, don't... I worry about your agendas, you guys. I sometimes don't think we're on the same team. What else is making noise? Ooh, him! Okay. Ooh. I got killed by one of these lion people in... Uh, in Stormvale, I think. And my summon killed it after it had killed me. We saw it in in my death cutscene in the background. It got murdered. So I've never technically defeated one of these. Hmm. Am I feeling lucky? I don't think I am. I'm right on the cusp of its zone, though. So let me bust it with a bit of magic. Oh! One of those, huh? Sneaky Tracy Beaker. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did that crow just do an attack on me? But instead of being able to land, its attack animation took it off the side of this cliff? <laughs> it just died? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. As long as it just absorbs that damage and doesn't... I might just let it its animation take it back up here. I almost don't want to go any further. Come closer, Baron. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't remember it coming up this far before. I might back up a bit. Hello? There is. Excuse me. I'm not made of magic. Mikey, you're such a coward. Yes. All I heard was intelligent. I'm not afraid to play it smart. All right. I might have to. Oh, God. Shit. Come on. Come on. Oh, all right. Should we just fuck off? Sims, good evening. How the devil are you doing, you handsome man? Oh, this is a type of phobia area. Oh, oh my God. Do you remember that was really big on Facebook in the early 2000s? There'd be an image of somebody with like some um, seeds, like a seed husk. Oh, I'm out of juice. But somebody photoshopped the seed pods onto an image of someone's hand or something. So it looked like their skin was opening up. Disgusting, but fake. Very, very fake. Right. How did that not... Oh, I'm out of magic juice. Okay, guys, we're just going to leave. I don't have the magic to do the thing, but I do want to check out that castle without necessarily dying. So let's just go over here. Sims, how's your day doing, man? How are you? Someone photoshopped a lotus pod into a hand. Yeah, that's the one. That was like one of the biggest clickbaits back in the day. Ooh! 
Oh, that one's called the others. These one, ha I think their eyes are redder than the ones from earlier. Okay, we're obviously in a high risk area. I'm not gonna dally. Hmm. Oh, somebody's piling up dog heads. Wait, these guys are still alive, but they, they're enemies of the dogs, aren't they? Oh, oh, there is a war. Just you. Right, so this is a bastion of the soldiers. Here, they're holding back the dogs and still managing to win. Do I get experience for any dead animals? Let me just hang out in this area and see if my, uh, schmeckles go up. <gasps> they do! <laughs> Look at that, in bottom right-hand corner, I'm just earning free experience. I am the grafter of souls. I stand at Hood's gate. We're gonna go for a katana build. Dexterity strength, I guess. Is it safe to buy tablets from Amazon? Yeah, Beryllio. Most of your Amazon say it, sellers will actually be direct. So when you click on, say, like a Huey on tablet on Amazon, have a look at the seller name. Because the seller will probably be Huey on USA or Huey on EU. If it's like, if you click on a tablet and the seller is like, you know, bobselectronics.org, um, then that's like a reseller site and their stock might be a bit older. So then you kind of want to keep half an eye on it. But unless there's a great money saving to be made, I'd stick with direct. But you can go direct on the website or direct-ish via the Amazon site. Both are fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to get a bit closer because this is still turning out Mikey. I'm just spectating now. Sorry, I didn't realise I was... The front row seats are where you get splashed. Just like SeaWorld, I forgot. <laughs> Can I help them out? Where's my uh, one sec? Oh, there's more over here. Hmm. As long as they don't face me, this is great. It's much easier to kill the people than the dogs. There we go. <clears throat> God, I run out of magic so quickly. This is amazing. I'm just here getting the goods after the fact. Why have I got Dragon Punch? Here we go. No. Did I just get one-hitted? Ugh, now I need to go and get those back. Okay, this is fine as long as I get those back. Because I've just been standing here letting that build up. I've just been taking the easy route. I love that you play it smart. I'm doodling a bit as usual, surviving the heat. Oh, good for you, man. I hear that in Europe right now, it is very warm. Sim streams in a tank top now. He's ready for the beach. Uh, wait, where, where are they? Are they in there? Like, in that mass of dogs? Oh. Ah, how convenient. This might be the best place to... Hey man, how are you guys doing? We're here to relax now. This is just for slowly making experience livestream that I've dreamed of. I'm going to get my boys out in case I need them.
Every now and then there's a cheeky Sandy. Brilio. I want to spend a good sum on a tablet and I don't want to lose it just like that. Yeah, Brilio. Well, um, <clears throat> uh, if you're going to go for a Huey on or a Wacom or something, it's usually a bit better to go direct with the company. Um, you might end up paying like 10 or 20 quid more than Amazon. But the whole point is, if there's a problem, you can go direct to them as both the seller and the manufacturer to chase up on your warranty. Whereas if you buy through a third party seller, they often try to fob you off onto each other if you've got an issue. Like, hopefully you'll never have an issue, but it's good practice. Oh, that dude just did the big uppercut technique that I was trying to find. The, um... Oh. No. Uh... Good. I love this game. They should make a game like this where you've got another ability, which is like um, a whisper technique, where you don't really fight, but you convince people to fight each other by whispering lies. Anyway, um, we can go past all this area to the actual keep if I don't want to get too engaged in the business. But I'd quite like to clear this area dead for fun. Where's my other glinty? It was... Oh, I'm out of juice. Was this one? Gentlemen. Oh, excuse me, that's my boy. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I take it back. No, not now. No, no. Okay. This time I'm going to fetch them and we're going to, like I say, I was dilly dallying. I was just exploring the area and enjoying a break. Let, this time I'm going to pick up my souls and we'll, we'll go straight in. Have you ever played Monkey Island? No, I've played Super Monkey Ball. Is Monkey Island a point and click adventure? MRG. Zono as well. Hey guys, welcome on in. How are you guys doing? Lovely to see you. Rivers of Blood. Ayatollah. Right, Anything you want to talk about, mate? Super Sneaker, hello there, how are you doing? Welcome on into the stream. Lovely to have you. We're playing 110 IQ. We're letting the enemies fight each other. As long as I can still get my uh, souls back. Uh, they're just sitting pretty over there. Lovely, all those other boys have answered the call. Whilst we... Yeah. Shall go and rest just over here. Nice. I really want to kill everything in this area for the EXP and the fun. Also, those blood eyed dogs with the mangy white one look even more dangerous. So I'm fascinated. But let's see if we can get in here. Whilst everyone's busy. Oh, this is a climbing thing, not a going inside thing. Okay. How are you? I'm okay. How are you doing? Uh, I'm just relaxing this afternoon. I'm putting off a lot of work, I won't lie. But, uh, but I'm just chilling. 
All right. That was my feet. All right. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was big balls jump that was. This guy's got a lot of hairy schmeckles. Good for him. Is he dead? No, he's okay. Oh, they're well, they're well recovered. Good for them. Yeah, point and click adventure from LucasArts. The first one was made in the 90s. They're going to make a new one soon this year. It was one of my biggest inspirations for art. Sims, I can imagine. Sims, uh, in terms of like how you illustrate, I'm, I'm not overly surprised. I played uh, two different ones. When I was a really young little man, I played uh, an Indiana Jones point and click adventure. And then round my friend's house, because I didn't have a computer when I was a kid. But my friend's brother had Day of the Tentacle. That's like the classic pointy clicky. And uh, yeah, all that sort of stuff blew my mind when I was a kid. Hmm. That's cool, man. Yeah. And check out the uh, release, the remake and or sequel when it comes out. I like a bit of fun adventure games. We have to have a little point and click. It's really fun to play with chat. Oh shit. tricky in here. I was hoping I could just smash that guy with brute force, but I don't have my sidestep ability anymore because I put back my um sheave. Oh, that's a lot of lot of points. Let me just eat this. Hello there. Indiana Jones is a big inspiration too. Dave Tentacles also awesome. Oh, you know your point and clicks, do you? Ginoli, you're having a chill out on Elden as well. Oh, chilling on Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilling. About as close as relaxing as you can do on a game like this. Sam and Max. The artist who works on that is called Steve Purcell. Really beautiful art and great artist. Yo. That's really awesome, dude. Yeah. The stuff back then was like this zeitgeist. just that perfect age of just soaking in like people's designs and concepts and it just set your mind on fire now will this guy do another suicide jab let's just hope he's got really low self-esteem this is my second favorite thing about soulsborne games is sometimes people will just die they'll just step off into nothingness they'll just be really sad Go. <laughs> oh wow, nearly Yo. two years. That's a lot of time putting up with this man. Joshelian, how are you? Putting up? Putting up? You make it sound like I'm worth credits for your social security. Nah. Glad to have you. Josh, thank you for the resub. 20 months! Sir James, fancy us. Welcome back as well, man. How are you? Eat love on Mikey. Hit your runes and level up. Oh my fucking god, I know, I know. I'm just gonna run and get him, and I'm gonna get straight back on the ladder. Ooh, that counts. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, level up. Oh, do I have enough to level up, though? I need 15 or 1600. Oh. Just enough. Um. Okay, guys. I still need to increase my intelligence quite a lot to wield uh, all of those glintstone things. So let's do that. 
cheeky intelligence nudge. Feeling good. Um, I don't know if there's any treasure up there, so I'm going to sneak back. One last look in case there's treasure. And then we'll continue in to check out what's going on in the castle. Get some mind. Oh yeah, maybe I should have done a bit of that as well. Mikey is an absolute treasure. Sometimes a little moany, but a treasure nonetheless. I'm like an un... I'm an unoiled chest full of treasure, Gem. I might creak and moan when you open the lid, but it's always worth it for the insides. Could you please both not? It was right in my massive head. Aliator, welcome on indeed. How are you? I feel they're more free of doing weird and random stuff. Lots of those games would never see the light of day nowadays. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Back, back. Yeah, mate. Sims. It, there was law. There was no laws back then. People could just produce whatever. Do you know what I mean? There was no standards. There was no laws. Like, you just accepted what you got. Yeah, a different time, mate. Oh. Look at Sims, he's a hundred years old, he is. I remember. Preco, in my day. In my day, Italy was run by fascists. And you had point and click adventures. The likes of which you'd never see again. All right, mate. Calm down. Sims was playing video games when Mussolini was a baby. I'm not here to judge. Don't worry. I really want you to confidently jump to your death so I can see if there's any treasure. Treasure, treasure everywhere, not a drop to eat. Okay. Anything? I just want to see if there's any... You know what? I don't think there is any treasure up there. No, there's got to be. Come on. Aren't there two other dudes in there? I can only see him. I'm going to get my magic out. I think that's the best thing to do. Ooh, what was that? Oh, I can punch up. That's when you get a girlfriend who's well, <laughs> way above you, <laughs> punching upwards. Get your fucking thing out. Oh, that's good. Now that'll teach him. Oh, that's still here. Oh. Games when we were younger were much harder also. Because you're a kid, you didn't realise or moan. You just kept playing. Yeah, you just grind it. That was what you had. If you had a game, you completed that game. You grinded the hell out of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm so glad all my glinty went backwards. It's a bit more mano a mano, though. I should be okay. What was the technique to break a shield, even if, uh... Like, not a special move, but I feel like the... I think it was just the R2 stagger that... I'm trying to remember the very beginning of the game. It kind of taught you a few things about Knights with Shields. I can't remember the details. Oh, the only way is up. Misa Severina, lovely to see you. Now, if I see a model being used twice, I'm just like, yeah, it's as cheap as fuck. <laughs> when they started reusing zombie assets for, uh... What the fuck is this? Oh, this is good. Oh, I love the view, mate. Glad I'm here. I don't think anyone put that window in. Like, uh... In Resident Evil 3, when they reuse zombie assets from Resident Evil 2. <laughs> it's just like, what is this piece of shit game? In all fairness, though, Resident Evil 3 cut way too many corners and it just was not anything near the experience of re2 but i think everyone knows that is there there's some chains here is there something that i can do to change the nature of something in this space no maybe not it was just for looking oh there's a dude here 
This might. Oh shit! This might take a while. I was about to say. I think I'm doing like two damage. So hyped for the new Resident Evil. They didn't need to rush Resident Evil 3. Yeah, not at all. They treated it like a sequel to a film that was about to go out of vogue. They were like, quick. And it was like, no, we easily could have waited longer. Uh, the new Resident Evil. Do you mean the Resident Evil 4 remake? Uh, Sims. I'm skipping the remake of 3. Not happy with what they've seen. Looks, 4 looks decent. Yeah, so I think what doesn't help is I never really enjoyed playing Resident Evil 3 on the PlayStation. A lot of people say that's one of the best ones. But uh, for me, it was too much too quick. You start the game. The zombies are all of a sudden really fast. You get a shotgun instantly. And uh, you start picking up loads of big weapons. And I was just like, this is too much too soon. I like Resident Evil for the atmosphere and the threatening puzzles. Not wave after wave of zombies. I appreciate in the narrative it's closer to the initial outbreak. But I was like, I don't know about this. I'm not really feeling it. And then I went, I ran through a door. I ran away from Nemi. And Nemi chased me. He opened the door behind me and entered a room. And I shat my pants and I turned off the game. I was just like, nope. <laughs> that is way too much. Nemi can open doors. Fuck off. I'm not playing. I never played it again. Oh, Josh, look after your sweet eyes. Come on, Josh. Mm, glitches. Good afternoon, Glitches. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. We're doing the closest thing to relaxing that one can do when you play a game like this. We're chilling out, cool. exploring, playing some Elden. Hey, bud. Yo, Sylvan, welcome back. Eight months. Final Fantasy VIII is one of the best ones. It's in my top three. Top five. Top four. Thank you so much for the resub. How are you? Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be good. Mm, I hope so. The thing is, Sims, is... uh, Actually, I feel like I... Sims, I feel like I've already had this conversation with you, so I apologise if this is old ground. But the thing I loved about Resident Evil 4 is that it was 100% unapologetically a video game. Yeah, it was a Resident Evil horror game, but it was goofy and wacky and had loads of fun. And I'm a little bit concerned that if they're going to bring Resident 4 into the whole RE engine family, sure, the controls are going to be better, because bloody hell, that was annoying to get used to. But I'm a little bit concerned they're going to take it too seriously. And it's not going to have the goof. I've been very busy. I'm enjoying the streams when I can catch them. Hey, well, Sylvan, you know how I vibe. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you guys when it works for you guys. So um, people might not hang out with me for months and then randomly just pop their head back in for a hello. I get it. You're all living your lives. So am I. It's totally cool. But dude, yeah, I hope life is treating you well. Let's see if we can get past here without any uh, incidents. Oh, what's down there? Oh, something's... Oh! Okay, good to know. Where's that coming from? Oh, there's a trebuchet! Okay, guys, is that a trebuchet or a ballista? That's a ballista, isn't it? If it swings on an arm, it's a bally. If it shoots off of a sling, it's a treby? Question mark? Look at this one dude. Oh, he's going to kill me. One dude's enough. I'm fine. I'm in a good place emotionally. What are you buying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that they never explained him either. 
They're just like, yeah, he's just around. <laughs> yeah, we've all been infected by Las Plagas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We follow the Castilian and El Muerte. Him? Ah, <laughs> don't worry about him, mate. He's fine, he's fine. Oh, it's a trebuchet. It is a trebuchet. The difference is the counterweight. Oh. Yo, potentially, how are you? You're gonna spawn, dude. <laughs> Just, sh sh fuck off, Javias. No, 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 that's not my fault. That's poor game design. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was just about to sip my drink. Do I even want to go to this castle? I was only having a look. So I think I need to do zigzag left, right. What? Whoa, what was that? What was that? Why would you release an unfinished game? I don't understand. They need to recast you in the role. Your perv voice would be perfect. Oh, thank you very much. I'd love to be. I would pay for my... So I was asking this question to somebody else the other day. If you had to pay for your own travel, your own accommodation, everything, this is all off of your own back, but you got invited by Capcom to be the voice of one single zombie moan of one single zombie in the game but you'd be in the credits. And so whenever people played it, you'd be like, okay, go down this corridor. That one moan here, that's me. Would you do it? You have to take time off work. You've got to fly out there. It's nothing but cost. You don't get paid, but you do get to be a single zombie moan in the series. I'm already going. Oh, Sims is moaning professionally now. Oh, I didn't realize you had an OnlyFans. Okay. Hey, well, good for you, dude. Did Misa talk you into that? Good for her. I don't think it's unfinished. Uh, Josh, I think you need to sort out your contact lenses, mate. You're clearly not seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah, Josh, it's lovely to have you, mate, but... And it goes on your resume? Yeah, you're allowed to tell people. You can tell people. Apparently, the seller in Resident Evil 3... And the guy in Resident Evil 8 knew each other. Who's the seller in Resident Evil 3? Oh, wait, do you mean RE4? Wait, who's the guy in Resident Evil 8? Mongchi, go ahead, ask away. You do it, Malgrins, you'd fly over to Japan. Sims, are you going to Japan soon? Sims! I'll go... <laughs> I'll come crash your party, Sims. I love going to Japan. I, uh, last time I was there, I met another live streamer for dinner. We all hung out, and uh, another live streamer and another one of their community, who then became part of my community. I stole him. Chubby dude in the chart. Good for you. What? Picking on a blind guy. <laughs> Excuse me. I've got a. I'm dealing with my own demons. Those demons are trebuchet, trebuchet fire. So this is a trebuchet. What's a ballista? That's the actor from Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Let's do some sideways movement that's not going to jump me off a cliff. I'd like to get out of their field of fire. Oh, now this guy's got a very interesting looking shield. Do I have what it takes to ruin his day? Okay, well, I just took that stab. Oh! I'm not, oh, I'm not going to get away with this, am I? I've just realised that even that basic dude is too much for me. Do you want to know what it is, guys? I have built it into my muscle memory to use Quick Step. And I don't have Quick Step equipped anymore because I was fighting a boss. I might put Quick Step back on. I know it makes Nathan angry, but 
it's pretty big. Okay, one more go, one more go. Oh, in fact, let me just go left. I'm going to follow the path, guys. Oh, the chubby dude in the cart. Got it. Okay, now I understand. Sorry. That's just clicked in my head, I remember. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Elf, 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 elf. Oh, oh, my poor horse. Yo, let's go. No? Here's some mysterious blue juice. Oh, hello. Where did he come from? I won't say anything if he doesn't say anything. Oh, there's a slime over there. You come to you come from England? Yeah, yeah, London airports. I'm South East England. I am. Oh, Sir James, are you showing artwork? Oh, it zigzags. Oh, yeah. I'll look at that. <laughs> I'll look at that later. Thank you. <laughs> Got enough bad memories about this game. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, he went insta stampy. He didn't even. I was trying to roll between his legs, but I was kind of caught. God, I hate it when you go into a new area in this game. Yo, that is a giant. That big shape that was in the map. That really is a giant. A giant skeleton. Oh shit, that's fantastic. I uh, I hate when you go to a new area and it's just like, oh god, you just get smashed around so much until you know what to do. Do I even want to go in here? I could just go to these Erd trees for a bit and chill out. The only reason I like this place is because it's so good for farming. The guy with the dirty toes. Looks like he's going through some stuff. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're working it out. We'll get there. You're making such a mountain out of a small catapult. Cheers for the support. Captain Criticism over here. Somebody just hurt themselves. Now I'm going to kill the dudes in this immediate area because of obviously that big monster guy is going to come and I don't want to get caught with a crowd. Where's my shield? There we go. Let's let's calm down. This feels a bit better. He's already here. Mmm. That's horrible. How about this? Tough round here. 
I don't know if I want to go in that castle. Hi, Atolla. I'm here for you. Makiri counter room. Ayatollah. My old friend. Flawless. I'm like a DJ. My first London long years later. Oh, hey. By the way, it's a dead end. You can't get in the castle this way. Ah. <clears throat> Let's go look at this herd tree. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Good game. Good game. Oh, is that the old treat? Wait. There's a... Oh, there it is. Oh, it's all ratty at the bottom. No wonder I didn't see it. Um, I don't know if I've been to this church yet. I'm just going to go over here really quick. God damn it. Get him. Get him. There we go. Oh. <laughs> How did that build up for two dogs? I'm sorry you guys are even here. It's so embarrassing. Emphasis on the dead end. <laughs> Emphasis on the dead. By the way, your play style's a dead end. Hi, Toller, I feel like you I feel like you're circling a really good bit of banter, but you've not quite nailed it. I can see you typing out another version that's closer closer to a good joke every time. <laughs> I could literally see your thinking in your answer there. <laughs> so good. Okay, let's leave them. Actually, no, fuck them. I'm still very moody. I always think the horse is the way to go, but it's such a bugger to get people and animals. Ooh, lightning attack. But unless you're swamped with enemies, it's just like, yeah, I'm going to get off and do it normally. Oh, it's a bit burny, but it's still a church. I'll treat it with religious indifference. A smoldering church. Each pillar warm to the touch. My pillar's warm to the touch. Missionary cookbook, hey! Oh, Nomadic Warrior, number 14. Hey. Our collection grows. Fiercer every time. Anything in the immediate vicinity that's worth knowing about? Let's have a look. Nothing worth writing home about. God, look at all this amazing castlery in the distance. Everything around here is so cool. Want to be mean enough to where it's banter, but not so mean that you stop playing. <laughs> Teasing me round the edge, you are. Okay, understood. Yeah, come on. Safe space, guys. Come on. You have to support your streamer, okay? You can be mean to me. That's all right. That's just banter. But you can't be mean to me forever, otherwise I'm going to cry. I am a human being. Oh, I just got rid of my dog by accident. One sec. Oh, can I not use it here? Hmm. Invaded by Anastasia. Ah, fucking hell. Ooh. Mate, can we not? Ah! What are you doing? Oh, 
Ooh, go away. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. She's got Getsuga Tencho. That's Ichigo's. Wait, calm down. That's Ichigo's big blade, isn't it? Hey, cheeky bitch. Recusant vanquished. I don't even know what that word means. Anastasia Vitana Shita has died. I have a sacred scorpion charm. Oh, looks like it turned out Mikey. When push comes to shove, I've still got the business. Long range magic spamming. Yeah, I have a third slot. This is what I forgot to double check. When we defeated somebody earlier, we got a talisman slot. Ooh, what is this one? Radigan Scar Seal raises attributes but increases damage. Eh. Raises holy. <gasps> but lowers damage negation. Ah, oh, no, fuck it. Yo, let's go. Holy's my vibe. You could say that I'm wholly invested in this stats build. I mean, I wouldn't, but you could. No wonder my dog disappeared. Okay. Eyes open. I can't tell if the base of the Erd tree is down here or up there. The minor Erd tree. Ooh. These people look like trouble. Forget it then. <clears throat> Dude, no, equip the scar seal. The scar seal? How much does it raise my attributes? Oh, wait. My vigor goes up by three, my endurance goes up by three. Strength, Dex. Equipment load. But I'm going to get more damage. Give me damage, me. Give me, me. All right, then. Go on, then. I don't have that much health and vitality to soak things up. But that has just bumped lots of my major stats. So I will accept. Thank you. There's a load of dudes over here. Oh god, if they interfere with my Erd tree, I'm fucked. I better, um... I better, uh, take these boys on. Ooh, good. I haven't got enough juice to get out my boys. No, not backwards. Forwards. <laughs> this is where I want that back... Backwards firing glintstone technique. Oh! Yo! That's a Yoshimitsu technique. Uh, is it seppuku or hadakiri? It's seppuku is for formal term, right? Guardian mask. Ooh, tarnished gum, uh, sunflower. This guy's got the right idea. Hey. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Kid Ludens, what are you saying, dude? Welcome back. It's a bit delayed, but that's for Sims. Hmm. Yeah, it's a pretty good talisman. You're all right, Artola. They stab themselves in the belly. They did a self-piercing movement. Addy Kitty is specifically belly splitting, but Seppuku, I think, is formalized self-stabbing. Um, which my mum said would make you go blind. I 
Oh, look, he's seen me before his mate has. Guys, when you were kids, did any did anybody ever say to you, this was like a thing we were told when we were kids, did anybody say to you that if you masturbate, it makes you grow hair on the palm of your hands? Has anybody ever heard that? Like, obviously, you know, you shouldn't masturbate because you'll go blind. And when you're a kid, you're just like, oh, I will. Oh, shit, actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> I've just realised. But there was another one where um, a loads of kids were told back in my generation, like, if you masturbate, you get it grow, hand on, grow hair on the palm of your hands. Sims heard that. Beef knows it. Kittens die. Oh, my kittens die. That's definitely a Catholic thing. Oh, yeah, Jen. It's probably related to wearing a hair shirt and uh, being recalcitrant. Look at him up there. He's just showing off. So again, the reason I'm doing these guys is because I want to get that Erd tree going. Hey. I want to get that Erd tree going, I should say, without company. Assuming that he's not going to jump down on me. Let's get the boys back in town. Let's drink my juice. Max my thing. Uh, try a little bit of tree lightning, and then we'll go into the sword. Yeah, swordy, mate. Oh, I'm dead. I'm instantly dead. Well, uh, swordy, swordy, swordy. Well, I do apologise. That was embarrassing. No wonder I'm blind. Neo's heard that one as well. And the shit they tell you when you're a kid. I think I think parents and uh, churches just say that stuff to kids because they don't want to have to wipe down every surface. If you've got like a 13-year-old kid and you go out for the afternoon, when you come back home, you probably don't want to touch anything until you know where they've been. Sunday school's for lamos. I went to confirmation for ages until I realised I didn't have to be there. I went to confirmation class. And then I was just like... Oh, I was because like the few other kids from school were there. I went to a Catholic school, as we've talked about, and eventually I was just like, oh, "Why isn't so and so there? And why isn't so and so like my closer friends there? It's just this kid, this kid, and this kid." And it's like, well, it's confirmation class. You don't have to, but it's good to do. And I really zeroed in on the "you don't have to" part. And then by the time I was fourteen, I was big enough that my mum couldn't physically. This is literally how I stopped going to church. Around about fourteen years old. I was just big and strong enough, but my mum could no longer beat me in a fight. That was literally it. She could no longer physically drag me into the car anymore by the time I was 14. And that's the day I stopped going to church. I was like, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. She tried dragging me out the door like she's done before. And I just held on to shit. And I was like, no, I'm not fucking going. I want to relax. I go to school five days... I'm saying this shit like my mum didn't work really, really hard to keep me fed. I go to school five days a week. Do you have any idea how hard that is when I come home from school early and wait for you to come home from a horrible job? I only have Saturday and Sunday, okay? Those are for me. I'm not spending half of my Sunday going to church anymore. She was really upset. But hey... That sounds healthy. Yeah, me and my mum had a weird relationship. I wouldn't call it a healthy one. Okay. This would be a great time to have quick steps so that I could stay behind him. Oh, this isn't... 
This isn't even called a minor erd tree. It's called a putrid avatar. We'll get him done in a few more goes. Don't worry. <clears throat> You're like a crab. Just hold on to shit. Absolutely. Lock on. Mate, if, <laughs> if playing the N64 taught me anything of that Z button, all you got to do in life is lock on. I'd really like to buff my sword and stuff. Uh, no, I just stick to traditional. Let's just do what we were doing before. Oh, it leaves rot somewhere. Oh, am I not perfectly behind it? I was hoping for a big stab. A bit of big stab. Ah. <gasps> oh, I'm surprised that caught me. Did I hear nose ring? Who's got nose ring? I'm starting to get obsessed. Wait, King Willie, what's going on? I got confirmed because I was promised a nose ring. <laughs> Quid pro quo. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. <laughs> the second section of it is called Passage to the Fourth Kind. Wait, what? Guys, I'm sorry I'm keeping doing this, but I've like... I've kind of relaxed playing this and chilling out this afternoon, so I've sort of lost my focus. So I'm just kind of vibing through this game for funsies more than trying to definitely get anything done. Ah, excuse me. That flask of wondrous physic really takes the edge off, though. God, I'm nowhere near you, man. That's so naff. Do you know what? I reckon a bit of fire magic might be a good idea. I'm going to, um, let me just uh, buff my sword with flame. You can horse him. No, dude, that horse is such a nightmare for me. Avatar Fleshlight. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> Ed? Magic lights, I forgot about them. The dead lights. Aya! I thought I was just far enough away. Not quite enough. God, do I even want to be here? Where do I go that continues on with the game? Should we just go north? Should we just go back up to uh uh should we just teleport? Let's teleport out of here and let's just look at something else. Kalid is a miserable place full of miserable people doing miserable things. We don't have to hang out here. I just wanted to see what there was to see with a minor love of an old, old tree. Nah, it's all rubbish, mate. All jank. Should we go back underground? How much longer have we got in this episode? Yo, let's go back underground. We haven't been there for a while. And every time we go back, I'm, my stats are a little bit higher. And we have a little bit more fun each time. Uh, how do I, uh... Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere around here, right? I was turning on all the business. DJ Khalid is not miserable. Oh, DJ Khalid. Oh, got it. Uh, I got it. Suffering from success. Oh, talking about DJs and singers and rappers in general. 
Hasn't, um, what's his name, been sent to prison for 30 years? You know, you know who I'm talking about? Do you have your passport? Do you have your shots? Would you like to come with me to America? Oh, yeah, ladies. R. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't buy his way out of it. I thought rich people didn't go to jail. But, uh, man, he got got. Who would have thought? Making a home porno with a 14-year-old girl where you have sex with her and piss on her? Who would have thought that people would have had a problem with that? That's political correctness gone mad, that is. Hey, you just you just can't have sex and urinate on 14-year-olds anymore. That's PC culture. Justice for... Hashtag justice for R. Kelly. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that, uh... That's what you get. <laughs> that is what you get. Do you know what I mean? There you go. Ooh, careful. I'm getting a bit tired and lazy and I need to stay sharp for all these boys. Ah! Guys, I'm not kidding. It's quick step. I'm so trained to have quick step, but I can't stop using it. And now that I've just got rolling back, I'm like, rolling mechanic isn't enough for me. It's all about quickie. I'm not going down with you, Mikey. Come on, Malgrins. Sign my petition. <laughs> free to bet and R. Kelly. Free to bet and R. Kelly. Ah, nothing. Sign this. Actually, no free to bet. I want to go to China without getting arrested. Thank you. As far as I'm concerned, Tibet is just another region of China. That's all I think on the topic. And I'd love to visit China one day. It's bad. You can't put it on all of your weapons if you decide to change. Yeah, I know. I, I, you're right. You're right. I should, I should get used to not having it. Oh, I believe he's not going now. He appealed. Ah, oh, he appealed. To America. No, no, no. Come on. If you love it, let it go. Mate, if you love it, let it turn 16. That's my motto. R. Kelly should have had a chat with me. All right, let's move on. Where's the flame pillar? That's why we're here. There is one of them up there. Let's go. Get what up. Ooh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of rats. Okay. Let me get my shield out. I need some defense just from these bitey buggers. that pounce that's illegal here in eagle country oh well i'm in england so no worries wolf canis 18 is the age of legality <laughs> yeah that's not my problem i live in the uk mate careful Careful. Hey. Oh, fuck. How did I not get hurt by us? Grace of luck there. Oh, wait! Oh, oh. No success. I'm a failure on all fronts. But today's Let's Play episode has just devolved into what's over here, I died. What's over here, I died. I need a wee. One sec.
Oh, really great takes here in the Megaverse. Ah, uh, you just got bored, yeah? I need a Wii. And uh, as much as I'm enjoying Elden Ring, I, you know, I want to be playing like Final Fantasy VIII. So I want to be uh, playing Sifu. I want to be chilling out and playing uh, Horizon Forbidden West. The problem is the more video games that I play in tandem, the less likely I am to complete any of them. So I've sort of been forcing myself into some Elden Ring time, but I might... I might start playing Sifu again or something else. Ooh, square off. Yo, let's investigate that Ashes of War sometime. Not now, but later. <laughs> Can't wait for the Let's Play. Hey guys, I want to play other games. Yeah, there's nothing worse than someone telling you they don't want to be there, but that person is like the host or something. Oh, by the way, I, I know that we talked about this before, but I just want to bring it up again because it puts a smile on my face. Disclaimer. Loads of people, for loads of people, I assume, or maybe a handful of people, this was just their job. And it doesn't make me happy that some random person loses their job through no fault of their own. That's my disclaimer. Now that I've got that out the way, artisan builds cancelling themselves live on Twitch, not just anyone, but the CEO of Artisan Builds managing to cancel his own company live on Twitch is one of the best things. I fucking love it. <laughs> it makes me happy to read that story. The guy just the guy refused to do a giveaway for another girl because she didn't have enough clout. And uh, after that, <laughs> they went bankrupt. Brilliant. You don't have enough clout. You don't get the giveaway. There wasn't any part of his mind that went, I wonder what this will do for my public image. At Sony Twitch. There's no sense of community to worry about here. I'm sure I'll be fine. Now, talking about fine, let me get my shield back out because this isn't working. Bad angle. Ah! Yeah, I'm just look, I'm just trying to spam my way through it. You can't do that in this game. Artisan builds contacted me once. Yeah, Sims, they contact everyone. Did they get all up in your DMs? Hey, we'd love to work with you on a sponsored promotion. Wow, if you'd like to be an ambassador for artisan guilds, artisan builds, blah blah blah, we'll give you up to $300 off of your next Artisan Builds PC. Asterisk. Artisan Build products are upmarked by five to $600 per build. <laughs> yeah. That was that was their promotion. If you, if you promote us, we will give you a slight discount on you buying stuff from us. Wow. What a deal, guys. If I go out of my way to promote them, I get to shop and buy stuff from them as well. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Here, take my money for your promotion. Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Artisan Builds. Yeah, since I never replied to him in the DMs, I was just like, <laughs> no thanks. The second they decided to give away, they had to count the cost of a prize as a loss, no matter what. Yeah, well, it just, it will, it very quickly, this is the magic of stuff that's live. This is why you'll never quite get the same magic, say, on YouTube and stuff, unless someone's a real fucking idiot. It very, very quickly and very, very clearly showed you the kind of mentality and the kind of person that the CEO was. Because he didn't do it, he didn't do anything respectfully. He went through her account, boohooed that she only had so many followers, boohooed that there wasn't um, any link clicking for her artisan builds link going back to their website. He was like, I haven't had any customers from your channel. 
none of that was in the rules of the giveaway. And so he was like, yeah, you don't meet my threshold. We are gonna re-roll. And the girl who'd won was in chat getting told that you're not big enough for me. And it was just like, you have just sunk your company. Nobody in their right mind wants to be associated with you. Most of the live streamers on this platform, I say most, care about who they associate with because nobody wants to be associated with a fucking prick. Because it's very community based around here and you can get cancelled very easily. Ask me. So I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. And then they had to file for bankruptcy because people were just like, oh, I'm never working with them ever again. A grade ass hat. Yeah, brilliant. One of my favourite internet stories of this year. Do you know what it reminds me of? I know it's completely different, but this makes me happy in the exact same way. So do you want to know what started COVID, guys? Some people are just like, oh, didn't COVID start in China? No, 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 no. COVID started just after um, Target Terry. Do you remember when a guy couldn't buy a toothbrush for one penny because he had a display toothbrush and he decided to start an argument in Target about it and he took pictures of the Target manager and tweeted about it like he was some kind of people's champion. This toothbrush said it had a 0.01 penny value because it's a display item. And I'm I'm telling Target that they can't get away with this. And then everybody was just like, actually, no, dude. As somebody who's worked in a shop, you are a fucking asshole. And then everybody started to go fund me for the lady in his pictures who worked at Target to send her on holiday. I loved that. Unfortunately, that started COVID. The very next day, COVID happened and we couldn't go on holiday at all. So be careful, all right? No good deed goes unpunished. Do you have your passport? Do you have your shots? Would you like to come with me to America? Ooh. America! Ah. <laughs> All right, one at a time. One at a time. Did Ivana Hyde get a PC built from them and they screwed her? Really? What happened? I'll ask her. Yvonne is fucking great. I can't really imagine her taking any shit, to be honest. I didn't reply because it sounded scammy even back then. I wanted to get a good deal for a new PC before streaming. And I thought, oh, now I'll contact them. I checked their Twitter and they've been cancelled. Bullet dodged. Yeah, Sims. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does bring a smile to my face. That does bring a smile to my face. It shouldn't. I shouldn't take such pleasure in... Uh, was it Schadenfreude? Yo, shout out to Nina. Respect to Nina for the one simple fact that she spent so much time streaming in English. And then eventually she was just like, no, fuck it. I want to speak in German because I'm German. And now she's just a German live streamer, and it's like, yo, good for you. Good for you, father. Good for you. Lasagna is the best. Yeah, lasagna is great as well. Can we get a shout out for um, uh, lasagna? Wait, how do you spell her name? The the bodybuilder. She's also great. There's quite a few great people live streaming. I'm not gonna lie. Can we get a shout out for Sims, by the way? I know we had one when he first popped in, but guys, legit, like, go follow Sims. He's great. He's very entertaining. He's a friendly guy. And his artwork is just so fucking adorable. It makes me sick. Yeah. Finally. How long did that take? Oh, two hours just to get up here. I don't even know how many more flames I've got left. Well, my voice just went really bad there. Oh, I don't even know. It doesn't even say on the map. How many flames? Even that feels like a trap. Okay. 
Oh, don't be like that. Nice, I've got all my flasks back for doing that. Oh, that is brilliant. That was totally worth it. Okay, so that pillar is... Oh, that's not lit either. Okay. Careful. Can I get in and get out? Nice. <laughs> Mate, I just, I went, I took my eyes off the screen for a split second to read chat. Unforgiving. Unforgiving afternoon. I thought we were relaxing and chilling out, guys. I've obviously made a terrible life decision. Watch Ivana when Mikey's not on. At least she doesn't take two months off. I made myself a sole trader, so when you want your PC next, it's all good. I called myself Artisan Assembles. <laughs> Yo. Oh, brilliant. Uh, dude, are you VAT registered? You can charge me VAT if you want. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely, man. I'm looking forward to it. Uh... Oh, fuck, I never registered. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to register for VAT. I actually haven't done it yet. Okay, but I'm totally going to. That's what's important. It turns out Patreon have been paying VAT to the British government ever since uh, Brexit anyway. It doesn't matter if you don't have to pay VAT. Patreon automatically does. They charge and pay direct. So like, it just, it fucks over smaller content creators. Hmm, a clarifying horn of charm. My horn's quite charming. Once the ladies stop laughing at it, they say it's very sweet. Where does this go? Oh, I never bought any more fucking stone sword keys. God, excuse my language, but fucking hell. Oh, hey, is there a sight of grace over there? What's it? Yeah, let's take a rest here. I pay taxes on Patreon income. Yeah, VAT sims. It's a fucker. I mean, I, I need to be VAT registered, so it all makes sense in the end. But yeah, like uh, Twitch charges VAT on um memberships. I was like, uh, I emailed Twitch and I was like, yeah, it looks like you charge VAT when people subscribe. Uh, can I just check? On British payments, uh, are, is that VAT going over to HRMC, uh, to the tax people, or not? And they were like, we can't answer that question for you. And I was like, well, it would be nice if you could, because you're paying me money and I have to do my tax. And they were like, here at Twitch, we can't answer that question for you. You have to talk to a, um, an accountant. I'm like, I'm doing my own fucking accounts. You just need to tell me whether or not you're paying British VAT on British purchases on your site or not. <laughs> What's the fucking problem? Oh, you pay extra tax to the Italian government. Oh, oh, Sims, I'm sorry. Oh, dear. Hey, what's better for you, Sims? Only fans. What works? What works for you, bruv? Eesh. Why am I still here? How much longer have we got in this episode? Alright, ten minutes to light all the flames. Flame of Aldoon! I am a keeper of the secret flame. Where are the others? Okay, we're going to go down and turn left. I'll keep moving this time so I don't get shot in the face. Oh look, I've got um, Dragon Punch. Oh my god! I fucking hate this game! 
I need to strafe more, maybe. <laughs> Look how big that arrow is. Mate, just calm down. Fucking one out of ten nightmare game. I need to refund this on Steam. I'll start selling feet pics. Uh, good for you, that's very brave. Hey, I'm not here, I'm supportive. I want to support my friends in all their endeavours, whatever they choose to do. And if it's all about your little Italian tootsies, good for you, bruv. Yo, do I go over here? What's over here? Ooh, is this a thing? Do I want... Do I want to do this? What's down here? Hello? Ooh. Ooh. Ah! <gasps> oh! hey, hey, brilliant. I need one of these. Yo! Let's teleport right back here. Hey, fish bash bosh. <clears throat> Gags. Yo, welcome back, dude. How are you? Who's selling feet pit? Nobody. Nobody, mate. Are you on wiki feet? We can go and up your score. What? <laughs> what? Yo, let's go. What? What do you mean not enough? Oh, do I need two? Because there's two of them. This whole underground area is one great big sack of bullshit. Every time I feel like maybe something's happening around here, it's... Uh, I need a wee. I'm indignant. I'm unhappy. We'll end on a high, though. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll teleport back over here and we'll have a look over here. I need a, I need a toilet. Oh, it's just a lift. Oh, how boring. Oh, I'm glad you said that, actually, in that case. I used to enjoy this game. We need to play another game. I'm not kidding. Like, uh, I need to have another game actively played. I can't just play this all the way till completion. Because I will go mad. It's, it's great. And it's got so much awesome stuff. But I need to play something else as well. Oh, there's two of them! No, 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 no! Here we go. Oh, might have juice. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, that one went nuts. <laughs> <sighs> oh, out of juice, out of juice. Definitely need to raise my FP. I think that's my focus and my intelligence. Oh, get staggered. Staggy Monaggy. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah, Half-Life Alex. Oh yeah, we could get on the VR. That's a good shout. So Mikey, when are you going to upload a new video on YouTube? Kolo Konzi, this Saturday. This Saturday, good sir. I still can't get him to the Discord. Everything's blank. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Let me, uh... 
Let's see if I can force do a force update. There's a way to do this in my settings. Ooh. Uh -huh. Is it in my connections? Is it under advanced? Was it part of notifications? Uh, there's two different areas that have settings. One of them is me, but one of them is my channel. Let's go to the channel. Here we go. Monkey's Basic Discord. Server settings. Integrations, Twitch, Manage, Synchronize, and then let's do that in Patreon, Server Settings. Remember guys, if you're subbed, you can get into my subs Discord and download my app for free, as long as it works. And then everyone on Patreon has a tick. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't update that one. Try now, King Willy. Ebrig, thank you very much for lurking along. It's been a pleasure. I've got no income or money. Yeah, no worries. Dudes, come on now. You know that's not the most important thing. You know that's not why I'm on Twitch. This hell site is not an income website. It's nice to make a bit of pocket money. But uh, no, no, no. I'm just doing this because I like playing video games and socialising when I do art. Always a pleasure to have you around. I don't need no excuses from no old school, is Ebrick. You don't have to answer to me. You're all good, mate. Oh, big crab. Uh, I'm bursting for a wee. I've got a few more minutes. Where am I going to find how to do the thing? I actually need that synchronization guide. Oh, yeah, Kaiden. Go into your channel, and then it's in your server settings. Like, click on Twitch and then click on Synchronize. And it just forces it to do it automatically instead of updating every few days. I think that's what's going on. How many more things must I majigger till I can go for a Wii? Yo, what other game shall we play? I should probably complete something that I've already started. So maybe we'll do Sifu. Unless there's something else that's, like, definitely worth it immediately. We could start the Final Fantasy Marathon, but I don't want to play another RPG right now. I want to do something a bit quicker and fun. Oh! Actually, do you know what we've got that's relatively short? We've still got, um... Uh, what's the game where you climb the giant monsters? Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, Shadow of War and Shadow of Mordor. I kind of want to play that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks like so much fun. Has put me onto that. <clears throat> oh, you can check the fires at the temple. Mm -hmm. Half-Life Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We read that earlier. It, nothing VR just yet, thank you. I still want something where I can relax. I have to keep my options open for the moment God of War comes out. Oh, this is lovely. Mysterious cave, but where does this go? One more dude. Mighty fine brave. Mysterious cave. Mm -mm. Oh, hello.
Yo, it's just a dude on a violin? Full of surprises. Back scratcher? Oh, a customer. Nomadic cookbook. 6,000 schmeckles. Soap. Rude. Nomadic warrior's cookbook. Let's have one of these. Hmm. How many schmeckles have I got? 500. Goodbye. Till, Till next time. Mm. Oh, I have to go down. I'm gonna take the pup out. Look after yourself, dude. <clears throat> Physiologically destroy some orcs. Wait, what? Oh, they're orcs in Shadow of a Glossus. Kind of excited for Sonic Frontiers. I just hope the product's as good as the trailers. Good for you. Okay. I'm just going to go down this right hand edge for one last quick look for any more pillars of fire. Done that one. And then we'll go back to where the actual corpse is to see how many more we've got left. Ooh, there's a ghost. Done that one. Uh, that's not one. That's a map, isn't it? Yeah, done that one. What about around here? Oh, you got them all. Overpower was gathering. Oh, Kaiden, it said that. The oh, God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, <laughs> Kaiden, great. In that case, then, let's rest right here. And we'll be going up that staircase to discover more bossery and misery right there. Up there. Oh, yeah, every flame's also on the stairs. That's very useful. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. We're going to smash out that boss in the next episode. Click like, click subscribe, or join me live next time on Twitch. It's a pleasure having you. And I'll see you then. Goodbye. Goodbye.